Unveiling the Mysteries of Interrogative Determiners and Pronouns. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our exciting journey of English language learning. Today, we are going to dive into an intriguing topic, interrogative determiners and pronouns. These are critical elements of English grammar that you often use when asking questions. Let's explore the differences and learn some handy examples. First, let's understand what interrogative determiners are. In English, we use interrogative determiners to ask questions about the quantity or identity of a noun. The words, which, what, and whose, are the three key interrogative determiners. For example, what book are you reading? Which shirt do you like? Whose bag is this? In each of these sentences, the determiner is asking a question about a specific noun, book, shirt, bag. Now, let's discuss interrogative pronouns. Similar to interrogative determiners, these are also used to ask questions. However, unlike determiners that modify nouns, interrogative pronouns replace the noun altogether. The words, who, whom, whose, what, and which, are considered interrogative pronouns in English. For instance, who is at the door? Whom did you see at the park? What is happening here? Which is better? Here, each pronoun stands in for a noun we want to know more about. By now, you might be wondering about the difference between these two. The key difference is in their usage. Interrogative determiners modify the noun that follows, while interrogative pronouns replace the noun altogether. To make it easier to understand, let's see an example that includes both. Which interrogative determiner shirt do you think is better? Which interrogative pronoun is better? In the first sentence, which is modifying the noun shirt, while in the second sentence, which is standing in place of the noun. And that's it, folks. We've explored the interesting world of interrogative determiners and pronouns. These are powerful tools to ask precise and clear questions in English. Remember, determiners modify the noun, and pronouns replace the noun. Happy learning, and I hope this video was insightful. Until next time.